Hey, good morning, everyone. Matt Long here. Just wanted to take the chance to catch up with you again here in July and uh, visit with you. Over the past several months, uh, I've done several videos and talked to you about planning and the importance of uh, planning thoroughly and planning early. And I wanted to take the opportunity today to show you um, one of the two tools that we've developed to make your planning easier and more efficient. And that's called the Detailed Field Information Plan. But first, I want to uh, make a special announcement. Today's email includes a section called Very Important Information for VIPs. Each one of you is very important to our business. You're a very important person because without your success, we're not successful. And I wanted to share this information with you today because I'm getting a lot of calls and getting a lot of questions about uh, Agrisure Viptera and Western Bean Cutworm. And so if you open up the section about very important information for VIPs, you'll see um, details in there about Agrisure Viptera, um, what trace stacks we have here in Golden Harvest uh, that has Viptera, what trace stacks some of our competitors have in them that have Viptera, and uh, some other watchouts that you might want to uh, think about when you're in the field scouting for Western Bean Cutworm. Uh, starting to see some egg masses pop up here and there, and so uh, it's something that you need to be cognizant of, you need to start scouting for. If you're out in the field, you need to be looking for it, um, even if that's not why you're out there. So uh, it can be a very devastating pest, you'll want to uh, get a good handle on that. Now, back to the subject of the day, planning with the details. The old saying goes, the devil is in the details. And uh, in this regard, I think no one really wants the devil, so why would you want to be detailed? But I think uh, what is missed or what's lost there is that when you um, go through and, and find all the details, uh, you make a detailed plan, you root out the devil, you find the obstacles and the opportunity to overcome them. And so today we're going to take a look at the detailed field info plan and how it can help us overcome the obstacles or overcome the devil in uh, this regard. So here we are with the detailed field info plan and you can see it's got about a hundred different questions on it probably. And I'm gonna go through it today uh, just as I would um, any day as a field on my farm and it'll kind of give you an idea of how um, you might go through it on your own or how we might work together on it in the future. So field name here, uh, I'm gonna use field one on our farm. The legal is the Southwest 2, 1736. Red barn is the farm name. Our yield goal here is 150, APH 105. It is dry land. The previous crop corn, and this is just all about getting the information right here. 160 acres. Um, it's not irrigated, so uh, no gallons per acre per minute or no gallons per minute um, to be had there. I like to plant uh, kind of mid-season, so I'm going to check the box of uh, fourth week of May. Typically plant a population of 15,000, and I like hybrid maturities. And the uh, one, oh, 15,000 population there, and hybrid maturities, you know, in the 105 to 109 day range um, there. When we're working on a plan like this, uh, things we can do um, is think about the alternative plan. We're going to use this corn for dry. So the alternative might be, um, and I'm gonna mark it a little differently, that we plant the second week of June. We might plant that at 16,000 because it's getting a little later, and we may use a 90 to 100 day RM in there. And so right there, um, we've got our initial plan and we've got one of our alternative plans. We could go through 
Um, you know, maybe we got some guys that have a lot of acres they have to get over. The field that they're on here um, is one of the first fields they plan on putting in the ground. So, you know, we could choose the third week of April in this um, scenario. I'm going to circle that again so we know it's not the primary plan. But in this scenario, uh, you know, we might plant again 109 to 113 day RM. And we may plant just a 14.5 population. That gives us a couple different ideas. Next thing we're going to go through is uh, our fertility program. So I'm a pretty big believer in soil testing. Um, and so I'm probably going to do that in the uh, fall after corn harvest. Uh, I'm going to estimate 80 pounds in N is what I typically apply every year on uh, dry land. Um, you know what, 150 bushel yield, I think I'll uh, bump my end rate up to 100 pounds. P, uh, manure history. So I'm not gonna worry too much about nitrogen or uh, phosphorus on that field. Others, um, zinc and micros is uh, stuff I have planned to uh, use throughout the year. So I'm gonna call that soil variable, soil pH about 7.7. 7. My plan is to use liquid and foliar. Uh, timing, I'm gonna do some pre-plant and some post. So other things we could make notes of here, um, you know, anhydrous. Maybe uh, depending on cost, we could run a uh, minimum till high speed rig in fall or winter. So this is, this just kind of roots out that there's that idea there. Um, we might put dry. Uh, down for our nitrogen instead of liquid and uh, we'll just write you know again depends on the cost and we put that down in spring uh, and probably with the stabilizer okay next thing we're going to look through is our plans for herbicide on this field so we can take, uh, you know, I, I'm a big believer in the early pre long-term residual. So I'm going to go ahead and put an X there. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to use authority at uh, eight ounces with um, half pound of atrazine and uh, some glyphosate. If I can't get that done, you know, snow or rain, it's wet winter, whatever, I'm gonna have to go with my number two plan here, which is a early pre with short-term residual. So we're gonna use one pound atrazine, 16 ounces of dicamba, and glyphosate. Chances are I'm going to get one of those two done and following that I'm either going to have to decide am I going to do a late pre burn down or an early, early post with residual. So on this field since my plan is to uh, uh, my initial plan to plant the fourth week of May and do the early pre long term I'm probably going to put that uh, herbicide application down in December or January uh, early part of January. And so that's telling me that there's a pretty good chance I'll have to do a late pre burn down. Um, on my farm, I'm gonna use one and a half uh, quarts of Acuron. And I'm gonna include with that some glyphosate and probably spike it with a third pound of atrazine. And then I'm gonna post 
with the other 1.5 quarts glyphosate and another third pound of atrazine. So this field uh, is corn on corn and it's gonna go back to corn. So I don't have any concerns about using too much uh, atrazine. Um, and I wanna make sure I have that Acuron heated up good so that we're, uh, we're killing any weeds that have already sprouted out there. If I have to go to my number two herbicide plan, um, I'm gonna run two and a half quarts of the Acuron uh, early post. I'm gonna run that with glyphosate and I'm gonna spike it with a half pound atrazine. So here we can see we have our number one um, herbicide program, which is early pre, followed by late pre, followed by post. And we have our number two herbicide program, uh, early pre, short-term residual, followed by early post with uh, residual again. So I'm a big believer in fungicide and its plant health benefits. It's drought, um, stress tolerant, enhances drought, stress tolerance. And so I know that um, unless it's just a really bad season out there, I'm gonna run 13.7 ounces of Triva Pro early with my um, late, well, with my post burn down or herbicide application. And I'm also gonna run it with some foliar and, and micros. If all things go well um, on this field, we've had ample moisture throughout the season, I'm gonna run uh, the exact same Triva Pro and foliar and in micros uh, late also. So this is kind of a questionable application and we'll put here dependent on the weather. The last thing we've got to do on our detailed plan here is identify any insecticide uh, issues that we maybe want to keep our eyes out for. And so um, continuous corn, uh, rootworm, Larvae and adults are always an issue. Um, dry land, is, we're gonna go ahead and keep an eye on the spider mites just in case. Um, earworm and western bean cutworm, I'm gonna put here that we got BT Viptera in our seed plan. So we're not gonna have to uh, monitor for that this year. Other though, um, I always, I border some pasture land, so grasshoppers is always an issue. And so that kind of tells us the things that we have to know about this field um, that can help us drive the crop management blueprint in the future. Now, obviously guys, you can see with how much detail um, we put into each one of our crop plans every year. And when we put this much detail into the plan, uh, it always turns out to be a success for us because we have um, all the information we need to overcome the obstacles as they come our way. So the devil's in the details. And um, with that much detail in your plan, the devil doesn't stand a chance. One last quick note. I wanted to remind you that coming up on August the 15th, uh, that evening, we're gonna have our 2019 Red Barn Enterprises Field Day. And Jenny and I wanted to uh, invite you guys to that again this year. Um, I, along with Justin Welsh, will be visiting with uh, everyone who's there about how good yields aren't good enough anymore. Uh, Justin is the uh, head of Digital Agronomy for Syngenta and Golden Harvest. And he's got some exciting new tools that we're gonna have access to next year. Um, and in the future, some of them we have access to now 
uh, to talk about and, uh, and really uh, get you thinking about how farming is really changing. And it's changing uh, extremely fast right now because of all the information technology systems that are being put in place. And uh, I've already seen since Justin's came on board a dramatic improvement in how easy it is to use some of these systems that we have here with uh, Syngenta and Gold Harvest. So mark your calendars, August the 15th, and uh, we'll see you there. That's all I have for you today. I'm Matt Long, helping you farm differently.